The gentleman from Texas is recognized. I thank the gentlelady with respect to the rule bill. If someone were to devise a plan, Madam Speaker, to intentionally destroy the great state of Texas, they would do the following. They would sabotage their sovereignty by opening its borders and granting amnesty and citizenship. They would steal the right to safeguard the integrity of their elections. They would strip the freedoms of both employees and employers by forcing unionization of the workforce. They would destroy its agriculture and energy economy by abusing their regulatory authority and weaponizing the tax code in the name of a politically manufactured climate crisis. They would crush the most prosperous economy in the nation under the weight of the highest tax rates in the world. They would quench the spirit of self-reliance. They would diminish the dignity of work by trapping their citizens in an endless cycle of government de dependence and poverty. They would permanently plunder the freedom and independence of the low star state by saddling future generations with a debt they could never repay. While this legislation, Madam Speaker, may not have been written with the intention of destroying the state of Texas, it's clear that should these bills pass, that's exactly what it would do. And not only to my great state, but to the entire nation. And I yield back.